Welcome. In part four of this course, we're now going to get into graphing quadratic equations. And I'm going to give away some secrets right off the bat. So here's a quadratic expression. If I make it y equals this, I'm dealing with a quadratic equation whose graph I can then draw. And you know, we can start off by playing plotting points and so forth, but eventually we'll come to realize that these guys are always symmetrical U-shaped graphs. And once we've got symmetry at hand, then we are set for powerful results. For example, so much of the curriculum relies on formulas and memorized ideas, but if you can have, have symmetry in your mind, everything's going to fall into place just by drawing a picture. And how do you draw a picture? Well, i give you the technique. Suppose I can find some interesting x values. For example, suppose I find that at x equals 2 and x equals 5, that this graph, I know, has the value 7 at 2 and also has value 7 at 5. I have two symmetrical outputs for two points. I know it's meant to be a symmetrical U-shaped graph. I've got no choice but to draw a graph, if I know it's upward facing, like this. Bingo. Uh, where's that middle point? It must be, well, right halfway between 2 and 5, which I guess is what, a 3.5 or something? Trouble is I don't know how high it is. Maybe it's up high above the axis. Maybe it just touches the axis. Maybe this graph dips below the axis. Maybe the graph is upside down. Well, how could I find out? If I just use common sense, I can plug in x equals 3 and a half, whatever formula I have, and just find out. End of story. So in this part of the course, we'll understand why these things are symmetrical U-shaped graphs, and then we're going to use that power of symmetry to the hilt and answer all the standard algebra stuff just by using common sense and nutting our way through it. It's a piece of cake, it's natural and easy, and moreover, it's beautiful. Thanks.